Hello, Earth citizens. My name is Chris. I'm a brain education instructor from Torrance, California. Thank you for joining me for the Eight Brocade series. This is a series of eight movements that are very popular in medical Qigong and uh, one of the longest uh, known forms of Qigong. So today I'm going to take you to the first form. The name is called holding up the sky or holding up the heaven. To get started, we're going to open up our feet about shoulder width apart and we're going to take a gentle bounce. Just take a gentle bounce. So I want you to start to feel your body. So as you start to bounce through the feet, through the knees, through the hips, exaggerate the shoulders a little bit, start to feel ah, the condition of your body. Some places are going to feel very happy. Some places are going to feel not very happy. So where you're not very happy, start to shake and start to move. So through our Qigong flows, we're going to try to stimulate meridians, organs, energy through our body to help us become more healthy. So relax the tension and start to feel your body moving more and more. So your body might want to twist. You might want to lean forward a little bit, lean backward. A little bit. So this kind of a gentle bouncing vibration is a really powerful way to bring your mind back into your body, to really start to activate the energy so that we can get more benefit out of our flows. Good, and slowly stop. Feel a gentle buzzing and tingling. Good, now to begin, I'm gonna bring my feet back very close together, almost touching. This is gonna be our home spot, our zero point. So feet are planted, feel your feet, slight bend in your knees, tuck your tailbone. Good, lift your sternum, reach your crown. So try to feel as long as you can, and as empty as you can. The more you stack your bones, the more the muscles can relax. So as we move through the flow, this zero point should feel more and more comfortable. You can feel more and more grounded. So this is your preliminary assessment. We'll see how we feel after the flow. So now I'd like you to shift the weight onto your left foot. I'm mirroring for your comfort. So stepping out with your right foot about shoulder width apart and sink into those knees. Open your knees a little bit, tuck your tailbone, lift the sternum, same kind of cues. Good, take a deep breath in, feel your whole body expand and exhale, release. So with every inhale, I want to feel that sense of expansion filling up and with each exhale, letting go. Good, so now holding up the sky, we're going to clasp our hands. And then as we inhale, we're going to bring our hands up, flipping at the heart, reaching up tall, good morning stretch. So this first time we're going to hold so you get a sense. So if you squeeze your biceps, your triceps, you squeeze your quads, your, your hamstrings, your glutes a little bit, you feel lots of sensation, vibration, tingling. Those are stimulating muscles, meridians. Ah, so feel that tension there. Good. So this is what we're starting to clean through. This is really good for our triple burner meridian. This is good for our heart and our lungs. So when you get to the exhale, you're going to undo the clasp and your hands are going to push out actively like you're trying to reach the walls. So very active. Pull the back of the hands towards your shoulders. Good. Very active, active. So there's a bit of intensity, like you're moving through honey. There's a substance around you that you're moving through. Good. So as you finish your exhale, you're going to regain the clasp. It's a very simple flow, but very powerful. Clasping the hands as you inhale, coming up, reaching as high as you can. And as you exhale. So I'd like you to find your breath, your flow. So as you inhale, you expand, your hands rise. You find that like some of us are going to squeeze really, really hard. Some of us are going to be very gentle because our body tells us. Push those heels, the hands away, pull the back of the hands towards you. So today, as we learn this flow, we're going to experience it quite deeply so that when you put it all together, you'll have a really good understanding coming down. So now those of you that want to make this a little bit more intense, as we inhale, as we flip, we can start to lift up onto our tippy toes, lifting your heels up. 
enhancing the sensation in those qua, in those calves and the ankles, and then as you exhale, coming down. So each of us will take this at our own ability level, our own comfort level. If you need more, you can lift those heels. If this really tests your balance or creates a lot of discomfort, then keep the heels on the floor. So we can all practice the same flow, but we all listen to our body. Good. We're going to do three more flows. Coming up. Exhaling down. So your breath will naturally start to slow down. will start to regulate. You want to find your breath. There's very little pausing in your breath. No need to make it really long, deep, or take big holds. Just breathe and let your body match your breath. Let your arms hang. Now we're gonna just gently gather some energy as we bring our feet back to our home, to our zero point. Exhaling down. Feel your feet, feel your hands. Notice the difference from first zero point to new zero point. Sensations in your body may be tingling, vibration, temperature. Just watch. If you can close your eyes, it'll help you experience those sensations better. Enjoy any swaying or moving. Press your feet more into the earth, reach your crown more for the sky. Tailbone reaching for the earth. Take a deep breath and expand. Exhale, releasing. Deep breath in. And exhale. Good. Go and bring your palms in and then we'll rub them. Feel the difference in the sensation. Maybe warmer, maybe softer. Go and shake them out and then you sweep off your face your hair, your body. Sweep off any place you're feeling tension. Good. Now feel your body after the first flow. So that was holding up the sky. Thank you for joining me for the first flow of the eight brocades. So we will follow up with the next seven videos to complete the whole series. And then we'll have a final video with the full flow. So I hope you join me for this series as you take care of your body well. If you'd like to experience a full one hour brain education based class, please check a body and brain center near you. If you don't have a center nearby, please take a look at our YouTube online memberships through Brain Education TV. Thank you very much.